Have you ever wondered why some UN peacekeepers are seen as heroes while others face heavy criticism? It's a tale of two narratives, often painted in black and white. On one hand, we have tales of extraordinary courage, with peacekeepers putting their lives on the line to protect the innocent. On the other, we hear whispers of inaction, even cowardice, staining the reputation of these global peacemakers. Today, we're diving into this complex world, examining the contrasting perceptions of Chinese and Philippine UN peacekeepers. Get ready for a bumpy ride because things are about to get interesting. Let's start with some good news, shall we? Recently, Chinese peacekeepers in South Sudan have been racking up gold stars like it's going out of fashion. In their latest UN equipment inspection, they passed with flying colors. Vehicles check, weapons check, medical facilities spot on. It seems these guys are ticking all the boxes, demonstrating their readiness to tackle whatever challenges come their way. They've been busy bees too, repairing crucial supply routes and lending a helping hand to local communities. Their level two hospital has even treated over 850 patients, proving they're not just about hardware, but heart too. So far, so good for China's peacekeepers. But hold on a minute, because things aren't always as rosy as they seem. The image of peacekeepers as saviors and protectors is often romanticized, but the reality on the ground can be far more complex and troubling. Rewind to 2016 and the picture looks very different. The year was marked by significant turmoil and conflict, particularly in regions where peacekeeping forces were deployed. Juba, the capital of South Sudan, erupts in violence. The city, already fragile from years of civil war, descended into chaos as rival factions clashed violently. Chaos reigns and civilians are caught in the crossfire. Families are torn apart, homes are destroyed and the streets become battlegrounds. The humanitarian crisis escalates rapidly. Enter the UN peacekeepers sent to protect the vulnerable. These forces, including contingents from China and Ethiopia, were tasked with the critical mission of safeguarding civilians and restoring order. But what happened next sent shockwaves through the international community. Reports began to surface, painting a grim picture of the peacekeepers' actions, or rather, their inaction. Reports emerged of Chinese peacekeepers, along with their Ethiopian counterparts, failing to protect civilians during the fighting. Despite their presence, the violence continued unabated, and the peacekeepers seemed paralyzed by the chaos around them. Despite orders to intervene, they remained confined to their bases, leaving innocent people at the mercy of the violence. The decision to stay put, whether out of fear or confusion, had devastating consequences. The fallout was immediate and severe, with accusations of cowardice and dereliction of duty. Media outlets around the world condemned the peacekeepers, and protests erupted, demanding accountability and justice for the victims. This dark chapter continues to overshadow China's peacekeeping efforts, a stark reminder that even the best equipped forces can stumble. The incident in Juba serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the complexities and challenges of peacekeeping missions in volatile regions. It underscores the need for better training, clearer mandates, and stronger leadership to ensure that peacekeepers can effectively fulfill their roles and protect those in need. Now let's flip the script and talk about the Philippines. These guys have earned a reputation for their bravery, often hailed as heroes in the peacekeeping arena. Take the 2013 siege of Zamboanga City. Armed insurgents linked to Al-Qaeda stormed the city, taking civilians hostage. The Philippine peacekeepers didn't hesitate. They stared down the barrel of the gun, risking their own lives to shield the innocent and repel the terrorists. Their courage is a testament to the human spirit, a shining example of what peacekeeping should be all about. It's this kind of bravery that earns the respect and admiration of the world. Section 5, The Peacekeeper's Dilemma. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So what's the deal with these contrasting perceptions? Well, peacekeeping is far more complicated than it looks on paper. Imagine being dropped into a war zone caught between a rock and a hard place. You're expected to maintain peace, but you're not supposed to take sides. You're armed, but you're only allowed to use force as a last resort. It's like walking a tightrope while juggling chainsaws. One wrong move, and everything goes to hell. Add to that the pressure cooker environment of a conflict zone where danger lurks around every corner and you've got a recipe for disaster. 
Section 6. Rules of Engagement, a tightrope walk in a war zone. The truth is, UN peacekeepers operate under strict rules of engagement. These rules are not just guidelines, they are binding protocols that dictate every action a peacekeeper can take. They are designed to maintain neutrality and prevent any form of escalation that could lead to further violence. These rules are designed to prevent escalation and protect civilians, but they can also tie the hands of peacekeepers when faced with imminent threats. Imagine being in a situation where you see a potential threat, but are unable to act because the rules of engagement restrict you. This can be incredibly frustrating and even dangerous for the peacekeepers on the ground. Let's not forget the cultural complexities and language barriers that come into play. Peacekeepers come from various countries, each with its own language, culture and way of handling conflict. This diversity, while enriching, can also lead to misunderstandings and miscommunications. Imagine trying to negotiate a ceasefire with armed groups who speak a different language and have a completely different understanding of conflict resolution. The peacekeepers often rely on translators, but even then the nuances of language and culture can lead to significant challenges. It's a recipe for misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and potential disaster. A single misinterpreted word or gesture can escalate tensions and lead to violence, undermining the very mission of peacekeeping. And that's not even taking into account the logistical nightmares, limited resources, and ever-present threat of attack. Peacekeepers often operate in remote and hostile environments where supplies are scarce, and the terrain is challenging. They have to be self-sufficient, resourceful, and always on high alert. It's a tough gig, this peacekeeping business. The physical and emotional toll on peacekeepers is immense. They are away from their families, often for extended periods, and are constantly exposed to danger. Despite these challenges, they remain committed to their mission of maintaining peace and protecting civilians. Their resilience and dedication are truly commendable. Section 7. Transparency and Trust. The Cornerstones of Peacekeeping. So how do we bridge the gap between perception and reality? This is a question that has long been at the heart of peacekeeping missions around the world. The answer lies in a combination of accountability, transparency, and continuous improvement. Accountability and transparency are key. When peacekeepers fail to protect civilians, there must be consequences. This means that every action taken by peacekeepers must be scrutinized and evaluated to ensure that they are upholding the highest standards of conduct. Investigations must be thorough, and those found guilty must be held responsible for their actions. This process not only serves justice, but also acts as a deterrent for future misconduct. It sends a clear message that the UN will not tolerate any behavior that undermines the mission's integrity. But it's not just about punishment. It's about learning from mistakes, improving training, and ensuring that such incidents never happen again. Continuous education and training are essential to equip peacekeepers with the skills and knowledge they need to handle complex and often dangerous situations. Transparency is equally crucial. The UN needs to be open and honest about the challenges faced by peacekeepers, the limitations they operate under, and the difficult decisions they have to make. This openness helps to build trust not only within the organization, but also with the international community and the local populations they serve the limitations they operate under, and the difficult decisions they have to make. By being transparent about these challenges, the UN can foster a better understanding of the complexities involved in peacekeeping missions. This understanding is crucial for gaining the support and cooperation of local communities, which is essential for the success of any peacekeeping operation. Only then can we foster trust and understanding both within the peacekeeping ranks and among the populations they are sent to protect. Trust is the foundation of any successful peacekeeping mission. When peacekeepers are trusted by the local population, they are more likely to receive the cooperation and support they need to carry out their duties effectively. This trust is built through consistent, transparent and accountable actions that demonstrate a genuine commitment to peace and security. Section 8. Conclusion. The never-ending quest for peace. The contrasting perceptions of Chinese and Philippine peacekeepers reveal the complexities of peacekeeping in the 21st century. It's a high-stakes game with no easy answers where heroes and villains often wear the same uniform. But one thing remains clear, the pursuit of peace requires unwavering commitment, unwavering courage, and a willingness to learn from both our triumphs and our failures. 
So the next time you see a UN peacekeeper, remember the challenges they face, the sacrifices they make, and the vital role they play in our ever-turbulent world. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.